In this video, I'm going to go over some really cool jumps on each moon, like jumping off the ship to get to the fire exits quicker, or escaping a giant that's camping the Vow fire exit. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to show a couple jumps um, for the, the ship itself, and these are going to be useful for a few jumps later in the video. Um, first though, I want to show a way to get the scrap off the ship. Um, usually people will drop stuff here, and then everyone else will grab it, and then either drop it or run away with it to sell. Um, if you want to help out just a little bit more, you can just look up to the right um, and just drop it off the edge. Um, you could also look up to the right and jump if you want to make sure you don't miss it, um, but this is pretty useful. Okay, so there's three jumps um, related to the uh, ship. The first one, and the most practical, and the one that you're probably going to use um, in general. Um, and this one also is used for a couple jumps I'll show later is jumping onto the side piece and then up to the top of the ship. This can also be used to throw beehives off the edge and get them to register as on the ship and uh, you know other things of that nature. Um, I might make a video showing that off at a different time, but this is a pretty useful jump. Uh, you'll definitely know, uh, have to know how to do this to do a few of the jumps I'll show on some of the moons. The second jump is uh, jumping onto this railing and then onto this right piece and then onto the ship. Uh, this one's also pretty useful, lets you avoid the ladder. And then the final one is sprinting and jumping onto this edge, and then also jumping up. So this little edge that sticks out, you can jump onto. And yeah, again, avoids the uh, ladder, pretty useful. I guess there's a fourth one, you can also do it on this side. So if you like sprint and jump up, you can jump up the side of the ship. So it could be useful if you're like on the back of the ship and you need to get on real quick. Um, especially if you have like dogs on you and you need to quickly jump up. If you're good at making that jump, it could save your life. The last one that isn't really a jump, but I guess I'll mention it since I'm here, is getting on top of this bookshelf. You're going to press B or whatever your bind is to move the um, furniture, and then go inside, jump and scroll, or press any other key, and it'll cancel the, the moving of the object, and then you know make it back into a solid state instead of a transparent state. Um, so now you can like you know get on top of it. This can protect you from the ghost girl and whatnot, so it's pretty useful. I definitely recommend uh, learning how to do this. It's not that hard. That's gonna be everything for the the ship. Um, so let's move on to the moons. Starting with experimentation, the quickest way to get to the ladder is by going underneath this little um, building here and going underneath through this gap, and then you'll be straight ahead at the ladder. I recommend jumping every time you get to a ladder just so you save a little bit of time. Another thing to keep in mind is that there is a ladder over here on this other side, so if you happen to have like mud puddles over here, it's good to just remember that you can walk over here and climb this ladder. Um, once you get up here, you're going to need to make this jump over to this little um, piece of metal. Um, it can be a little difficult, um, but once you get up here, you just climb up the train and then you're able to cross. Um, it's pretty useful, uh, but I rarely have to go over there. Um, there isn't too much about main on this map, so I'm probably going to skip it. Instead, um, looking at fire, the first thing you can do is walk through this wall, which saves you a tiny bit of time. A lot of people don't know this, but I do see some people use it. Um, just keep in mind, you can bump into this pillar, so it's just the wall you can walk through. Once you get up here, another thing you can do on staircases is just jump over the railings. Um, this does use stamina, so I don't know if it's just like that much t more time efficient, but sometimes I do it if I'm just like, you know, trying to show off or there's like a bunch of people and they're all bumping each other. Um, from here, most people know that you can just jump onto this uh, pipe and run across. Uh, this one's pretty useful for getting items back to the ship, especially if there's dogs or, um, you know, any, any other enemy outside, really. Um, you can just drop down anywhere over here to go to the ship. Or you can just drop items off and then go back to the fire exit. Especially if you have someone like at the ship bringing items back, it's kind of useful. Especially if you have a lot of items at fire too, so you don't want to like climb the staircase again. Or you can just jump across like that. Another jump that I use pretty often as well is actually jumping over onto this wall. Just hugging the wall and landing on this ledge and then dropping down. Um, this one's definitely quicker than like dropping all the way down or going down the stairs and jumping off because you can just jump immediately as you get out of the fire exit and then take no fall damage, drop down here, take no fall damage. So if you were to just jump from the top, you'd have to you know go down a few flights of stairs before you can jump down without taking damage. From here, 
Uh, a lot of people might not know you can jump onto this and just climb above. Um, it's a lot quicker than going around like some people do. So I definitely recommend using this, especially if you take that route from fire. Just jump over to here and then go straight to main through that same uh, path that I mentioned before. One last jump that you can do, it's not really practical, but you can jump on top of the fire exit and then onto this um, this metal piece here. And you can walk all the way across. To get across here, you have to hold D and kind of just like shuffle your way across. And you can walk on all of these bars. Um, you can walk underneath as well. There's no real reason to come up here besides like, I don't know, confusing someone. Um, but yeah, that's something else you can do. Just like how on fire you can walk through this little wall piece here, it also applies to the ones on this side. So if you wanted to, you can like stand in here and hide from your friends. Um, works on both sides here. Um, not super practical, but you know, cool to know. That's gonna be pretty much it for experimentation. There might be a few other things you can jump onto, but this is pretty much all the you know useful uh, routes and uh, places you can jump onto. Um, you know, to get back to the ship quicker and whatnot. So next we have Assurance. I'm going to go over two jumps to get to the uh, fire exit. One where you take fall damage and one where you don't. And then I'm going to do another jump to get to main. So first I'm going to do the jump that everyone's aware of. This one you'll take fall damage. You just walk out here and then walk off the edge of the ship. And you'll take about 50 damage. And then you have enough sprint to go all the way to the fire exit. From the fire exit, um, you can easily jump onto this pipe and go to main. On your way to main, um, you can jump onto that railing on the very edge. Uh, and then jump straight to the main door. This allows you to, you know, not go on the ground or touch the ladder. Uh, you won't take fall damage when jumping. There's two jumps you can do from um, the ground here to get up to these pillars. So you walk up to this pillar, and you jump up the side, and then jump to their side, or just jump onto this slanted piece, go up again, uncrouch, jump, and then get onto the pipe. You can go under here, crouch underneath, keep holding D so you don't fall off. Once you get here, you can just walk at it and jump up. You kind of spam jump just like you do on Dine for the fire exit, and then you can jump across and go to fire. That one's a little tedious, so there is one on this side that's a bit easier. What you do is you just do the same thing like usual, jump up this, uncrouch, jump, but then for this one, you walk around the side, and then you're going to jump at this and do the same thing you would at the dying fire exit, and you'll be able to jump up. So you just jump at it, spam jump while holding sprints, and then you'll make it up. This one's pretty useful if you leave items here after taking it back to the ship and need to get back up to the fire exit and don't want to go all the way up the ladder and jump across. We'll save you a bit of time for sure. For the second jump, you're going to want to make sure you have your sprints and you're going to use the jump I mentioned at the start of the video to get on top of the ship. So jump out here, jump to the top of the ship, and then once you get here you just walk across and then you should make it here without taking any fall damage. The timing is pretty... Um, slim so if you do miss it you'll end up landing on the edge of the rock and still taking damage and then needing to fall down and go all the way around to get back up so this one's really good to save health but you have to practice it a bit before you can consistently do it if you come from fire and the map's flooded there's two ways that you can get to your ship without going in the water one is jumping onto this um, hill here the other one is just jumping onto this rock as well um, once you jump across you can just go over to the train go over here Climb up, go on top of the rock, and then just jump down to the ship. If you don't want to take fall damage, you want to land on the top. Uh, I kind of missed it, but yeah, pretty easy. This last jump is going to be to get to main. It's pretty useful, it's not too hard. Once you land the ship, you're going to wait for it, um, and then you're going to land on this rock here. So you'll jump off the edge and land up here. And then from here, there's also another shortcut you can use. You can slide down this wall, and then head to main. It saves you a little bit of time. And then again, jump when you go onto your ladder. That's going to be all for assurance. Uh, if you guys find any more, please let me know in the comments. But these are all the ones I found that were pretty useful. So let's move on to the next moon. So the next moon is uh, Val. 
I'm gonna show two quick routes to get to the, the main enter entrance and the, the fire exit from the ship. Once the ship lands, you pretty much just go straight. Um, depending on how early you jump off, you might have to view a little bit more to the left. So I have to go a little bit more left since I started, uh, I jumped off early. And then you'll end up to the, the bridge. If you want to go to fire, it's pretty much the same thing except you'll just take more of a diagonal, roughly 40, 35 degree angle from the ship, and you'll end up at fire. So I'm sure a lot of you have had the you know situation where you come out of fire and there's a giant camping here. And that can be a run killer. Um, so this next jump is going to be able to save you from that situation. It can also save you if you're on a flooded version of the map and the fire exit is underwater. The jump involves climbing up this side wall here. As you can see, it's slanted. And this allows you to jump up the side. And you can see that I can jump up about this high and then I start to slide. The way you avoid sliding is by jumping onto the corner. What you want to do for this jump is keep your character kind of centered with this corner. So if you veer off to the left as you're jumping, you're going to want to tap D real quick. If you start going to the right too much, you want to tap A just to keep yourself center. So you'll jump at it and tap W, and then jump again, tapping W, W. You can see I'm starting to go to the left, so I'm going to tap W and D a little bit so I don't um, end up falling off. Keep tapping D and W. A little more centered now, so I can just press W. I'll tap D and W again. And then you'll get up to the top, and you can just jump straight up. Um, just be aware that you um, you can uh, miss this jump. You do have to jump an extra time once you get to the top. And then once you're up here, it's a pretty easy shot to the ship. Pretty much just going that direction. Um, I would say this is pretty much the one of the best jumps in the game. Especially for this map, it's like a game changer. I had originally tried to find a way up here and could not. And I ended up finding this one um, through YouTube. And I think it's pretty great. Um, I was trying to climb up that wall, but I couldn't manage to find a way. But yeah, this is pretty much the only major jump for Val. On to the next moon. The next moon on the list is offense, and there's three ways you can get to the fire exit through this jump here off the ship. The riskiest one, in my opinion, is jumping onto this edge, because you can fall, and then sprinting off and jumping, and then you go straight to fire. The next jump on offense to the fire exit involves you jumping onto the top of the ship, and then you can just walk over and jump. This one I feel like is a bit more reliable. If you can manage to do that jump on the ship relatively easily, um, this one allows you to negate that risk of falling off the edge. I know I've done it many times where I jump onto that edge um, catwalk and then end up falling off and dying at the start of the game, so this one's pretty useful. The last one is a little bit uh, time sensitive and the safest one. Um, you just walk to the right, jump and climb the ladder, and then jump across and then get to the fire exit. This one is the safest option since you don't have to worry about jumping on the edge of the ship or on the, the metal railing, um, but it is a bit more time sensitive. If you're a little slow, miss the jump or fumble the ladder, you're not going to be able to make it with this one. When you're making the jump to the fire exit, first you're going to start by jumping up to the side and holding sprint. And then once you get up, you're going to just keep spamming jump. You don't need to sprint anymore and then start going to the right. And then just keep spamming jump, and eventually you'll just start climbing. And then once you keep spamming, once you get to like this higher point here, you're going to have to start sprinting and jumping, and then you'll be able to get on top of the rock. From fire, it's really easy to just go back to the ship by running across the pipe. And then once you get to around where the ship is, I recommend dropping loot off if you have more loot. You can just jump, drop it off the edge here. Another thing that's useful is if there are dogs, or giants, or worms, or literally anything, on the ground outside the ship and you have someone inside the ship ready to take off and you're on top of this pipe i recommend having them um, start the ship they can hear you from here so you can just tell them like hey i'm on top of the pipe start the ship i'll jump on top of it and they don't even have to respond to you because if there's dogs you know they can just flip the lever and then once the ship takes off you can just fall on top of it and go inside the ship another thing you can do from the fire exit if you want to get to main is once you get to this pipe just jump across once you get onto this hill, you can just climb up this hill, jump onto this edge here, and go across and go to main. Lastly, when I do go to main, I like jumping here and jumping onto the ladder and spamming E to climb up it quicker. 
Just so I can beat my teammates. I think you guys get the point now, since I've already mentioned it several times, but jumping onto the, the ladders is a lot more useful than walking straight up to them. Let's you save time. That's going to be all for offense. There might be a few other jumps like I mentioned. If you guys do find something new, let me know in the comments. Let's move on to the next moon. Next we have March, and I'm going to go over how to get to the backfire exit first while the ship's landing. What you want to do is, as soon as the door's open, go to the back of the ship, take a right, and then jump off onto this little hill. Um, if you do it correctly, you won't take fall damage, and then you can just walk down, hug the mountain, and then you'll be at the fire exit. On your way back, I recommend, instead of just going all the way down and taking the want long way, um, hug the side of the mountain, hold A or D, depending on which side of the wall you're on, and then just hug the mountain while sprinting, and then you can go back to the ship. This will save you a little bit of time, um, especially if it's really late at night. Um, it can also give you a little bit of height distance from enemies that might be over there. The second uh, quick way to the fire exit while landing is by taking a left and just waiting at the ladder here. And then as soon as the ship touches the ground or you're able to see ground, you can just fall off and then walk straight. And this should be pretty much perfectly lined up with the fire exit. So I definitely recommend using this one if your plan is to go to this fire exit because you'll beat people waiting for the ship to land. To get to the fire exit on the left, it's going to be pretty much the same as when you land and I showed that one earlier. You just kind of just walk left, um, go straight. Uh, you'll go a little bit to the left if you're doing this once the ship has already landed, but going straight, you'll pretty much always see this building. And then here's the second fire exit. When you're coming back from this fire exit, once you climb up this hill, um, if you're kind of confused on how to get back, you can just line yourself up with this tape or this edge of the wall here and just go straight. Uh, this is really useful if the map is um, uh, foggy, since you can't see. Uh, just keep going straight. You can scan, and eventually you'll scan the ship and you'll start to hear it, and then here you are. So go to the third fire exit. You can kind of just line yourself up with this corner and go straight. And then you'll be at this third fire exit. And if this is flooded, you can do the thing where I mentioned earlier where you just hug the side of this wall. And then once you're here, you can just like walk down and get down to the fire exit. And you should be able to get inside well before you're about to drown, as long as you don't mess up. That's going to be pretty much everything I know about March for routes and uh, jumps. So yeah, let's move on to the next moon. Um, next up we have Rend. So quickly I'm going to show a way to get to the fire exit and then back to the ship. When the ship lands, you're going to hug this left corner and just go straight up the mountain. You just run up the hill here, and once you're at the top, you're going to kind of shuffle your way down the mountain. So don't go too quick, and just hold S. Um, once you get to this part here, you can start veering to the left as well, if you want to save a little bit more time. And then you can get to the fire exit. Uh, from here, you can go up this hill, and the quicker way back to the ship is by taking a right and hugging this cliff. You're going to hug this cliff, and just make sure not to fall down. And then eventually you'll come up to this mountain here. And then you're going to just hug the mountain, to the, going to the right. And then scan, and you'll find the ship, and you can just walk straight to the ship. Now if it's too dark, um, if it's like late at night, it's hard to go this direction. You can also go to main, and then go back to the ship from here by lining yourself up with the rope and going straight. And then just slowly start turning right, uh, left. And then as you do this, you'll make your way to um, main. Just make sure not to fall on that cliff there. Or fall down that cliff. And then you'll see the lights. You can either go straight to the ship, or you can go back to main if you wanted to go there instead. So from the ship, there's two ways to get to main. The first one is by following the lights. And there is a little bit of a shortcut you can do here. Once you get to this mountain, you can just hug it and follow the mountain all the way around. And it lets you get to main a little bit quicker. And you can do the same thing on the way back. It saves you a little bit of time. The 
second way is to take a left here. And then once you get to this rock, just kind of go straight. A little bit to the left. And then you'll walk past this mountain. Right here. And then you'll be able to get to main. You can also use this on the way back. Instead, you'll be going left. Oops, I'm a little lost. Find this house. And then you can just follow the lights and head back to the ship. That was a quick one, um, but that's pretty much all there is for Ren. Um, pretty useful, especially if you're going for high quota runs, since this is the meta map. Uh, just keep note, if you take that left path, it is going to be hard to see if it's dark, kind of like that other uh, path back for the ship, uh, to the ship from the fire exit. Next up we have Dine. Um, I'm first going to show you how to go to main from the ship, because it does involve getting off the ship a little early. What you want to do is go to the back of the ship, kind of on this right side, and then once the ship gets close enough to the ground, you can jump off and then go straight to this fence here. And you can hug it if you'd like to you know, be a little bit safer, but you can just walk between these two mountains and you'll end up at the facility. Uh, Main's over here, got a little lost, but here we are. And then to get back, you pretty much can do the same exact thing. Just walk between these mountains, look for the fence. Once you get to the pipe here, you can either go left or right, and this is going to be probably dependent on where the enemies are. On this one, you can just follow the lights back to the ship. On this one, it's the same way you came. Uh, just walk around this mountain and go straight to the back of the ship. And then from inside the ship, if you want to go to fire, you can walk into this corner and go straight. Make sure not to fall off the edge here. Then you want to climb up this um, angled piece here. And then sprint and jump up the mountain. Start spamming jump while sprinting. And then you'll be able to make the jump. And to get back, you just pretty much go the exact same way you came. Just make sure not to fall off that cliff on the left. And here we are. Dine was a pretty quick one. Um, still pretty useful nonetheless, but let's move on to the final moon, Titan. So the first thing you can do to get to the stairs really easily, um, if the ship lands, you can just look into this corner and just go straight. And it just gets you straight to the stairs. Um, not really worth using since you can just jump off anyways and get here, but you know sometimes you'll uh, overshoot and end up over here, so yeah, that's kind of useful. Once you come up these stairs, um, the first thing you can do, like I mentioned on experimentation, is you can jump up these railings. Um, it's a little finicky like you can see, like you can just get stuck, but if you do this, you can maybe beat a couple people. One thing I always do on Titan, and I've been mentioning throughout this entire video, is jumping onto these ladders. I'll jump onto the edge and then jump up to get a little bit more height and then climb up. Pretty useful. The next major jump is going to be falling off here and then landing on this light. And then um, I can't show this off now, but maybe I'll um, make a video covering this as well. But if you have dogs, you can stand here and then if you have like an air horn or a noisemaker of some sort, or even just your own voice, um, you can attract the dogs onto this corner and then they won't be able to damage you as long as you're not too close. And then you can uh, fall down and they'll be too busy trying to attack whatever noise was over here. Um, but once you land on this, you can just fall off and then grab your items. And then there's two ways down. One, you can just go here and jump off to take no fall damage. The second option is to jump onto this edge and then land on the lamp and then fall off. Um, I like using that one because it's a little bit quicker. Um, but if you do miss it, you will take fall damage and even potentially die. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty, pretty good jump. That's pretty much it for Titan. Um, there isn't too much on this map, but, you know, some pretty useful jumps for getting down to the ship safely. In the future, I'm going to be coming out with a video where I uh, talk about the different types of jumps you can do inside the facilities. So inside the facility and mansion alike. Uh, there's some pretty cool jumps that can uh, save your life or let you kill some enemies or survive some enemies. So I'll be going over those in another video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment if you found something new that you'd like to share. Um, or if, you know, something I showed you in this video helped you out or taught you something. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.